Oh my fuck, my truck just absolutely shit the bed coming up the hill. I mean, it's hotter than a gaggle of dog and the humidity is nothing to squawk about or squawk at. And, uh, and the dew point is just higher than shit. So I checked the oil, it's on a hill, but I mean, some is registering, but holy, it's making some weird sounds. I think I probably threw a rod or something. I was basing out. Oh, can't hear nothing. Can't see nothing. Yeah, I was basing out, so uh, I wasn't listening to my ride, but my oil pressure is not going up at all when I turn my key. I mean, it shouldn't technically because the car's not on, but that's not a good sound. I should probably stop. Oh, there goes Buck, Fuckface McGillicuddy. How you doing, Fuckface McGillicuddy, you fucking goof? Oh, you never even saw it. Look, I put, I put a mirror on my bike. It's a little piece of shit, $26 mirror. And the damn, the damn top bolt head snapped off as I was putting her in. It did. Son of a dick. But, uh, yeah, so you can see the bottom one threaded all the way through. Not the top one, so not how long. Not sure how long it'll stay. It does not swivel, which fucking sucks. Like, it swivels around. Like this. You know, but it doesn't have a 360 ball in there, so I mean, they were 26 bucks. I can see behind me until it breaks. What is Spiderweb Central up under here? Oh my goodness. What a mess. This is what happens when you just keep on stacking shit in your shed instead of actually, you know putting stuff away where it belongs. I apologize. Oh, well, that's what I want. Oh fuck, I'm gonna need that son of a dick. I gotta vacuum out the water. This is already gonna be more of an undertaking than, more of an undertaking that I wanted to participate in. Lawnmower, I guess, probably. Probably, definitely. Kitty cat. I mean, honestly, by the time I get everything ready to go, it's probably gonna be too hot to do anything anymore. It's literally 99% humidity right now and the dew point is high it's got to be 60 or so what am i slime that's what i want and uh so yeah dew point's ridiculously high humidity couldn't get any higher and uh 12 what are you doing and it's been 90 all week and it's supposed to be 90 today too like above 90 like 92 93 and the humidity and the, the humidity and the dew points have <clears throat> been out of control all week also. Like I literally have not been outside at all, except to go to the grocery store one time. And then I went and got us drive through salads a couple nights ago, but I didn't leave till like 6.30, 7.30 at night until the weather had calmed down a little bit. And it's already, the wife had to go to some meetings at work, so she was up at six. I didn't want to get up, but I couldn't go back to sleep. And I let one of the dogs out shortly thereafter. And it was wonderful. Like the sun wasn't up yet. And I came inside, and I was like, it feels pretty good. And I look at the phone and it says 99% humidity. I'm like, well, it didn't really feel like it. So by the time I made it by the time I made it back out here, which is right now. Uh, now the sun is coming up and now it is starting to warm up. But let's go get this trailer and see if we can't drag it back here. Put new blades on the mower. Look how nice it mows now. Oh my goodness. I wonder where my little my little slide tailpiece is in for this thing. I wonder why that never gets any more fun.
I don't know if slime's gonna help this one. But we'll try it. Damn it. I think I need an actual tire removal tool. I think this is uh, ate up. Yeah, that did not uh <clears throat> that did not work in the least. So that tire is probably just gonna end up being flat. And there's gonna be nothing I can do about it until I order a little tire tire thing from Amazon. Okay, tire tool ordered. I'm already sweating balls. Holy shit, this is gonna be a miserable experience. And I'm definitely not gonna be recording any of this process because I don't even want to do it. It's already too hot to even be doing it, much less try to film while I'm doing it. So, plus I saw a bunch of crap last time, but I will let you know how it turned out. Well, 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 and a what have we here? A welly, well, well, and a what have we here? I've been waiting on this for a week or so. I mean, for a few weeks, a couple weeks. And I ordered it from Amazon, but I couldn't get it under Prime. And I'm not 100% sure it's going to fit. And supposedly they, I'm allowed to return it. But there's a potential 50% return fee. That they can choose to charge you. Which, you know, they're not supposed to unless it's like is damaged or something. But yeah, it's a rack from a motorcycle, maybe, hopefully. Oh no. That is definitely not gonna work. Not even close. That ain't near wide enough, my bike. Shit. I was really hoping that was going to work. Yep, that ain't going to work at all. Son of a gun. Crap. I really thought that, that was going to... Alright, well, since we couldn't have any... Uh, since we couldn't have any motorcycle fun... Uh, yeah, so since we couldn't have any motorcycle fun, well, we could totally go have motorcycle fun. Since we couldn't fit on my rack, I guess we'll, uh, we'll do some shooting. So I've had the hardest time sighting in this weapon. Front sights, front sights look like they slide, but they don't. Back sights do. No elevation. No elevation and uh, <coughs> a uh, a slide a slide pusher a slide pusher for your sights or a sight pusher rather they're like for a good one it's like close to 300 bucks or more they can easily go into the 300 400 dollar range so I checked the price on lasers and they had gone down significantly. They used to be... Oh, I wonder if it's bad to shine a light at, laser at your camera. Um, it appears to still be working. Yeah, the box said green. It's a Sig Sauer. These used to be like $300 when I bought the pistol. Yeah, they're under two now. Uh, the red one's like it's only like a buck fifty. The green one's like a well, on, on Amazon, for some reason, they're much cheaper. Six hour, it's like 190 and 220 But Amazon, it was like a little bit over 100 and this one was 189 But they sent me a red one. The box said green. It was in factory packaging. It said green laser, but it's red. So I got another one coming. But I'm still going to I'm still gonna try to sight this one in and shoot it. So, uh, oh, we got a little baby kitten. Little baby kitten across in the field. Oh my goodness! And y'all like my little, my little Asian hat, my little Asian sun hat that I, that I got from the party store on Amazon for like nine dollars. Because I wanted something more lightweight and airflowy, but that also covered the sun. 
And I really, this is the only thing they had. I need to go to Mexico and buy a sombrero. What am I thinking? I can't even see the laser. Yeah, that's really why I wanted the green laser, because it's green laser is much more visible in the daytime. And I'm not doing any night sniping. And it's just as visible at night. I mean, it's technically it's more visible from someone looking your way. They can see green better than you can see red. I mean, better than they can see red from a distance. But also for the shooter's purposes, it's uh, green is easier to see. Shoots way to the left. Okay, so I'll have to wait till it gets darker. And I love this hat, but it's no match for the wind. Like the slightest breeze, and it's just. But it's partly because it's got this stupid elastic band instead of an actual string that you can tighten to your chin. <clears throat> I mean, I get it, it's from a party store. But I really wish I could find something like this. I might have to fashion something. I might have to. This just looks like it's super glued on. How is this even going to last very long? Yeah, I think they've just got it literally glued. Be a good pool hat. Chill in the pool. As long as there's not a stiff breeze. Yeah, old Siggy don't like the steel rounds, but she chews through the brass like nothing. Okay, I think it might be dark enough. I got a couple shots off already, so I think it's pretty good, but we're going to test it now. I mean, the grouping's not bad. I just, I went low on four shots. Alright. I've never seen that. I've been chilling in this house for nine years now, and I've never seen that. But me no likey. I don't know at exactly what point. My wife and I discussed a, you know, a drunken watermelon, but uh, she's never had the opportunity to partake in such delight. 
so I was at the store today and I saw a watermelon and I thought that sounds good and then on the way home I thought wait a minute I think I've got something that sounds even better yep. should be about right I uh, I could not find a small bottle of vodka to save my life I've got a bigger bottle I have some watermelon smeared off I was gonna get some better, you know, some absolute or something, but then I thought, well, is that really necessary? Because it's going to be in a watermelon, so probably don't need the best, uh, probably don't need the best there is. Anyway, I couldn't find a small bottle, and this one is way too big for this size watermelon, so I had a bottle of green apple vodka that's been sitting under my cabinet for about three years or so, at least. Left over for my son's, my youngest son's 21st birthday celebration, where he got my wife just absolutely foobarred, offering her shot after shot after apple vodka, and I thought she was an adult and could be, you know, didn't have to be monitored 24/7. But I would have been, I would have been mistaken if I would have thought that. If I would have thought that, I would have been wrong. I'd have been wrong if I thought that. So, I thought that I would, uh, yeah, just maybe not even fill, but put, put vodka in there and then use a smaller bottle. Makes more sense, right? And this is a pretty small watermelon, so. I think three quarters of a bottle will probably be oodles. Here's the fun and the tricky part. The fun and the tricky part. You gotta try to, uh, the object is to get the bottle into the watermelon, spilling as little as possible. Now, of course, there's lots of this is juicy watermelon, so I don't even know if that's possible, period, because so much juice is gonna wanna come out of this. I wonder if I should dump it first a little. Okay, flip that over. Oh no! Oh, that was disaster. Oh, almost disastrous. And my sink's open. Oh my god, so stupid. Fuck around and bust my pipes. Oh my goodness, that would have been dangerous. Are we in the shot? We're in the shot. Okay, so the way to do it is dump your water out and then get this bad boy like this. And then just do a quick how you doing. Quick how you doing. And you can push it down a little bit if need be. And now you're gonna make sure it stays balanced. And uh you know, you're supposed to leave it for 24 hours. I don't know exactly how long it'll take to soak in. I've never actually done one of these. So, it definitely looks like it's going to take a while. Brace it, she can't go anywhere. And then we'll just uh, let her sit there. And hopefully she'll go down over the next several how you doings. I had every intention of using this camera to film this operation. But I got down here and realized the battery was dead and I'm... I'm not going back up there. Uh, so I got the pipe cut. I got all the water drained. I got all the water sucked out of the pipe. It sucked out of the hole. I got the hole widened enough this time that I shouldn't have trouble putting the pipe back together. I've got that whole apparatus cut off, which I'll probably just throw away, even though it's like, you know, $10 worth of stuff. Oh my gosh, not $10. Yeah, well, not even probably, but still. So, um, uh, to read some more blogs, y'all like the constant zoom in and outs? Yeah, you do. Uh, Still dripping, doing some dripping. I'm probably going to suck some, try to get all the water I can out of there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this pipe down with 80 and then 120 and then 240 because that's what I got. And then I'll clean the pipe and then I'm just going to glue a joint on there. Well, sorry. Then I'm just going to glue a joint on there from the box. And then I'm going to let that sit for two hours before I come fuck with trying to build back up the rest of it. And I'll try to build back up the rest of it, and hopefully this time will be golden. But I'm not going to film it, like I said, because that battery's dead, and I'll have a tripod for this phone. But you get the idea. So yeah, I thought, well, I'll just put the elbow on, and then it occurred to me that that's going to make water stay in there instead of drain past it. So now I got the vacuum on, steady sucking out any residual. Then I got it mostly. The main point: I don't want water just sitting. I don't want the glue sitting in water while it's trying to, you know, cure. Okay, basically got it all now. 
there's a tiny bit sitting at the bottom, but it's not like sitting full. I never even saw it that kind before. How you doing? Never even saw it that kind before. I'm just a bitty fella, he is. I'm just a bitty fella. Okay, well it's been at least 10 hours and the vodka didn't move at all. So I started researching and it's kind of the unicorn of the of the of the watermelon world. I don't know. It's, 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 it's not it doesn't happen. You can't actually do that. You can't actually put a vodka bottle, any bottle of alcohol. It's the, the, you know, and I read people like read science blogs actually explaining it, going you know, duh, yeah, of course you can't. Literally, the watermelon is already full of liquid. So how are you going to put more liquid? You mean there's no room for it to go. So the way to do it is to cut all the stuff into chunks, marinate them. And do all that, or cut your hole out, puck a, poke a bunch of holes into the flesh through the hole inside, pour vodka in, let it seep, and just repeat that process until it doesn't soak in anymore. And then refrigerate the whole thing, pour your drinks out of the hole, then when your drinks are gone, you cut it open, you eat any, any potentially infused watermelon that's left that apparently will also be mushy because that's science as well. Uh, so next time I'm going to chunk them up and I'm going to use Martha Stewart's margarita watermelon recipe uh, which is what I wanted to do yesterday but it seemed seemed like it's going to be too much of a process but you know if I'd have known what this was going to entail I would have done that instead but that'll be next time but yeah the trick is not to poke all the way through the watermelon you don't want to go through the rind obviously and then look at all the liquid but you want to make a whole bunch of holes. Sorry about my fingers in the frame. Until the liquid soaks in, which is what I'm done. And now I'm just waiting to see what happens. As you can see, it is sinking down slowly but surely. I did a shot of it. It's Definitely smells super strawberry airy airy and definitely tastes more strawberry airy airy than regular regular plain vodka, but ugh. nothing like the sour apple that came out of this. The sour apple tasted way better. Of course it probably actually is full of sugar. And supposedly the watermelon vodka doesn't actually have any. Bubble bubble toiling trouble make my watermelon vodka now. Okay, you'll have to forgive me because my camera is on my helmet, so I'm sure the angle's gonna be dickered, but I don't care. And I'm not even sure what you can or can't see. But this is a remnant of my vodka watermelon, which as I think I stated on camera is basically a unicorn. Like it can't really be done. Um it can if you stick skewers in your hole and puncture all the way through and keep on draining vodka into it for 24 hours it kind of works but not really but so I've got all my watermelon scooped out here and of course this was made with strawberry vodka but let's go ahead and man what can y'all even see the old helmet cam how you doing take it off put on your tripod chop no I refuse shut up a little bit of vodka how you doing you need lots of delicious ice cubes Probably enough since that's all there was. I need some ginger ales. I use diet. And you put it on the old how you doing and you close up your lid and you give it the old ice crush tech. Oh, you gotta plug in your blender. have delicious frothy watermelon boom. Delicious frothy watermelon boom! Get some. Watermelon boom! Go! Okay, well indeed I did not show you the well because uh, wife was on a, on a work conference while I was having her so I just I ran out there while she turned on the water and I went and checked. No leakage down there. Um, there is potentially still some leakage somewhere in the pipe or some sort of an issue perhaps with the with the new pressure tank I got it's 10 gallons more than my old one but that still doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, 
Yeah, I read everything. That shouldn't make a difference. I mean, it's still set on to, still still pressurized to 38 pounds, and my, my pressure switch still comes out at 40, which means there shouldn't be any, I don't know, I have to reread. And, uh, but I still, the water still cuts off eventually. After running it for so long, the water still cuts off. So, still gotta figure out one step at a time. I don't know. I've replaced everything, so I'm not really sure what to do now. Everything has been replaced, literally, except the piper up the house. Same with the ground radar costs. <laughs>